this is one of the first problems that I noticed um, people were struggling with. Um, so in this problem, it says Mr. Coleman has 30 students in his science class. He noticed 27 of those students use backpacks to carry their books. Um, and it wants you to shade um, the grid to show the fraction of students in class who use backpacks to um, carry their books. So for, for this one, um, the way you're going to do it is you're going to just go ahead and set it up as a fraction. So um, your fraction for this one um, is going to be part over whole. So for this is 27 over 30. And from there, we're going to simplify the fraction to make the denominator 10. So um, how would I, um, and, and you can unmute for a second to answer. How would I make the denominator 10? What would I have to do to it? Divide them by three. Good. All right. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by three. And then that's going to give me nine over 10. Now, these are all hundred grids. So then all you have to do is say, well, if nine tenths is my fraction, um, 10 times 10 is going to be 100. So I'm going to do nine times 10. So that means I'm going to shade in nine of these. And then the answer to the question would end up being 90%. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yes. Cool. So, um, what I'm going to do is go over a couple more. If I can get it. To, mm. I'm trying to get it back to my cursor so I can scroll down. Okay. All right. So. All right. So this one is a lot like the one we just did. Um, so, again, it's showing that um, for this one, there are 30 students. 18 of them turned in the extra credit project. And it's asking you to shade the grid to show the fraction of students who did the extra credit project. So 18 out of 30 ended up doing the project. So this would be the same as the other one. So to make it 10, we're still going to divide by 3 on both the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then 18 divided by 3 is 6. So that's going to be 6 out of 10. And then, of course, you're going to go times 10 which means I'm actually going to shade in um, six of these because each square is worth one. So if I do six of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the same thing as saying 60%. Mm -hmm. So um, those ones um, I know kind of tripped you guys up. There were a couple of others that were different from that. Um, let me see if I can find. Okay, yeah. This one gives you the percent. Um, so at Bear Valley Middle School, 90% of sixth graders went on a field trip to the Science Museum. There are 50 students in the sixth grade, and you're supposed to shade the grid to show the percent and then say how many sixth graders went on the field trip. So... Um, really, the easiest part is the shading on this um, because it gives you the percent. So I know that I'm going to have to go down nine blocks or nine rows to make 90. So all of that would be shaded in. Um, to figure out, though, how many went on the trip, um, if 50 of them are sixth graders and um, or sorry, if there are 50 students in the sixth grade and only 90% of them went, I need to figure out what each one of these is equal to. 
So how would I, um, what would I divide by to figure that out? Mm. All right. So how many shaded rows do I have? Nine. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I have nine shaded rows. Mm -hmm. All right. And I know that um, 50 students, 50 students went, or sorry, there are 50 students in the sixth grade. So it's not letting me write. Okay, here we go. So really, um, actually, this one's different than the one I was going to show you. Really, what we need to do is find 90% of 50. Now, can we break up that 50 students right here into groups of 10? Yeah. So if I broke it into groups of 10, um, how, how many would go in each group? Some five, mate. yeah, five, yeah. So that means that each of these rows is going to be worth five. Mm -hmm. And that is going to give me my 50 all together. I don't know how many I just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I only need nine of them. So then nine times five would be what? 45. 45. So that means 45 of them went. Do you see mm -hmm. how I did that one? You take the, if it gives you the total number, you're going to divide it by 10. And then however mm -hmm. many, however many of these you end up shading in is what you're multiplying that by. Mm -hmm. So let me do another example. All right. So let me do another one. I'm trying to get it to scroll. Hold on. All right. So Mr. Romero took his theater class to see Romeo and Juliet. The play runs for 120 minutes and they have watched 30% of the play so far. So first we're going to show the percent on the grid, and then figure out how many minutes of the play the class watched. So 30% um, would end up, 30% um, is going to end up being three rows. Now, if you, if you look, it told us the play runs for 120 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that would be the total amount. So what I need to do is figure out if this whole grid is 100, then how much would just one of these be? So what did I divide by last time to figure that out? Um, uh, you divided. You divided by. How many rows do I have? Three. Ten. Mm. There's ten all together, three shaded. Mm. So that mm -hmm. means each one is going to be ten. So if that's the case, and I have shaded in three rows, then how many minutes did they watch? If each one of these is ten, how many minutes is that? Thirty minutes. Thirty, yeah. Because each of these is 10 because of that, because <coughs> we were dividing that 120 by 10. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold up. Did someone tell me? You know what, guys? I'm sorry. Let me strike and reverse that for a second because I gave you the answer to the first question. I didn't give you the follow up. What is 120 divided by 10? 12. 12. So the what number should I what number should I put on those rows? Twelve. Twelve. 
and nobody corrected me. Okay. So how many 12s do I have there? Three. Three. So then 12 times three is? 36. 36. So that means they watched 36 minutes total. Mm -hmm. So really it's just a matter of figuring out what the row is worth. And then multiplying the number of rows you shaded by that number. Don't do what I just did and skip that step where you have to actually divide into the total amount. Um, because I can see that being a common error. It's, especially when you're in, you're in a rush of trying to get it done. So let me see. I don't know if I had another one or not. We'll do one more. So... 20% of 120 cars are red. So first we're going to shade the grid to show that amount. So how many um, rows am I going to shade in on this one? 20 rows. Wait, okay. wait, two rows. There you go. I was going to say 20% would be two rows. All right. So that's part one of what you have to do. Now there's 120 cars and there's... Mm -hmm. How many rows? Ten. Ten. So how much is each one of these going to be worth? Mm. Yeah. Remember, if there's ten rows total, then the total amount's 120. We're dividing 120 by ten, which is what? Um, 12. You guys, you guys know what 120 divided by 10 is? You just did it. 12. 12. Did someone say it and I just didn't hear you? Yeah. Okay. All right. So 12. So I have two 12s, which is how much? 24. 24. So that means my answer is 24. Mm -hmm. And that's really all you guys have to do with those. Um, It shouldn't be... Um, too super hard. You just hadn't learned to do it that way. Um, so hopefully that helps. I'm going to stop recording. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. But I definitely wanted to go over that. There we go.